Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can get Artifice Armor as long as this kind of cheese lasts, basically, because I'm sure at some point it's going to get fixed. So what happens is, you're, we're going to go into the Duality Dungeon and we're going to get the first boss to kind of leap off and commit suicide. And I want to show you how you can do it solo. Now, Artifice Armor being important, you get your little free stats here. And if you have every slot with free stats, that's literally... Plus 15 to any stat that costs you zero mod energy, which is really, really good. Now, I'm using Wish Ender as a bow. Uh, I would just bring something ranged with you. And this is my exotic. But, I mean, if you want to bring something like Galahorn to take out a few adds, you could do that. Uh, if you want to bring a sniper rifle as kind of your mid option. Main thing that you need is something with range that hits hard and can one-tap a few certain type of enemies. Uh, something with consistent ammo that we can get to. And then probably a rocket if you do need to blow a few guys up. Other than that, Strand subclass is going to really help here. Warlocks, I think, can do um, Heat Rises Hover in a similar aspect. But your goal is to survive. So you're going to want Solar Damage Resist, Sniper Damage Resist, and Melee Damage Resist. Anything far away from killing you, anything close up from killing you, and then Solar Damage is just going to be a lot of it. Other than that, I would just try and, you know, be cautious on this run. Now, I'm doing this in a full reset, so let me actually get into the point of combat, and I'll show you guys how this all works. All right, so once you get into the dungeon and land and you can shoot the, you know, opening bell and you'll switch, I'll show you guys the combat sections, uh, but there will be timestamps on screen if you want to jump ahead, and then I will show you just an example of what it's like to kill him and get the loot. Now, what you guys can do is basically 100% use a checkpoint and just checkpoint trade with a friend, but I know not everybody has that option, so I wanted to show you how you can still do this solo. And that way, I mean, yeah, you are going to have to get to the checkpoint every time, so this is not going to be quite as farmable, but it is going to be a very good run. So at the first part here, you got to take care of these guys. This bow actually pierces, so it's just really good at this. And the main reason I'm killing most of these adds is because as I ascend, I don't want to worry about uh, anything shooting me. Now, the beasts aren't a big deal, but they just tend to be running at me. Now, we got one more up here. And this is why Wish Ender is so good. It hits multiple times. But now we're going to ascend. And these are the guys I just don't want them messing with me as I climb. Now, on that tier up there, we're going to start to see some scions. And that's our goal is to find them. Now, if you can see all four on one side, you should be in pretty good shape. From here, so then we're going to ascend up one level. If you've taken home. out one side, you can kind of use your cover over here to be a little safer. Also, I like bows. They basically have no limit on range, and I can kill pretty much anything I need to. Now, the other signs are going to be actually up one more tier. So we'll get to those here in a little bit. Or not. Yeah, they will be around. And then we're just trying to ascend all the way up. Now, if you had something like grapple... Probably make this a little easier. I'm just trying not to completely abuse that at, the, at this mo moment in time as best as I can. Again, like that guy killing you would be a little annoying. Apparently it's daily reset now. All right, now when you switch here, this is gonna be the hardest part for you. So as soon as you switch, you need to try and jump into cover and then be a, and just make sure you've got somewhere to work from. So kill one or two of the adds, and that's something where like a Galahorn rocket would be really good just to blow up the first couple guys on one side, jump to a pillar, and have a place to work, because then you'll be safer. So yeah, bring a rocket in, clear out one platform, give yourself a pillar to work from, should be good to go. Now when you switch this one over, you should have a little bit of cover here, so it's not as bad, but where you're basically looking to... Uh, Kill the Scions in the middle first. So, I mean, if you want to do something like kill a few of those guys, not as big of a deal. You'll wake everybody up when you do that. But again, Rocket comes down. No biggie. This is just Ascendancy. Literally just a solar tracking Rocket. Two guys to kill. Yep. Alright, so what's going to happen when you switch is when you go to the other reality... Right at this pillar, you're actually going to have a ledge you can land on and then jump in, like, jump right in here. 
So we're going to skip a couple different flip back and forths by doing that. So do that. Turn around. Find your wall. Here you go. When you fall down, it is going to spawn guys on you. So then just jump in here quickly. Now, up ahead, you may or may not have a guy that spawns. You'll know on the radar he would be to the right on my radar, but he's not here. He's a big gladiator, so he can hurt. I would jump up here, though. Get yourself a little bit of cover. And I literally stood here and shot him with a bow and arrow, and he didn't do anything. So, wasn't, wasn't that big of a deal. Now, when you get to this section, you're pretty close, so it's just about staying cautious. Because if you do die here, you get to reset everything I showed you, which, that's less fun. So, a little patience on killing these adds, and then you're basically there. So you'll see some Scions in the back first. Those are ones you want to try and pick off first so they don't tag you. Then it's just a little bit of patience. If you want to pop a super, use some heavy. You're literally right next to a rally flag, so you may as well just go pretty aggressive on this section. But it is not. So if you want to try and kill him, this is why something like a sniper, Wish Ender works really well just because it hits so damn hard. Now, as I'm running strand, I don't have a grenade I could throw. Uh, if you're trying to get here a little quicker, there's probably better builds you could use. Don't blow yourself up. But again, I'll use every bit of heavy ammo I have, just because I know I'm right next to a rally flag, so I'm not really too concerned about it. And this is why I love Wish Under. If you don't have this bow, definitely one I recommend getting. Alright, so when everything's down, you'll know, because this door will open, and we're here. Fall down, you'll have a rally flag, which I'm not too worried about right now because my super is up. All you need at this point is a super for survivability, so Well of Radiance works. Um, and then Warlocks with the Well of Radiance, you can do Heat Rises and basically float, and then be able to come back. You need a powerful ranged weapon that's quick. I'm using Wish Ender, whether you use a sniper rifle, whether you use whatever, you need a powerful, uh, like, ranged weapon... Preferably Sniper, Wish Under Bow, something that hits like a truck, and I'll show you. There's two Scions you need to kill that would basically pick you off from the back before you could do anything. So you're going to shoot this one, because if you shoot this one, the big flamethrower guys are going to spawn on that side of the alternate reality arena. And then your goal is basically to walk over here, when we're in the flipped reality, hang on the edge, and try and get them to jump at you. Now, it's probably not going to happen at first, so I'll show you, like... A failed attempt, and then, depending on if it takes multiple times, then I will show you a real attempt where it actually works. But the idea is, you can get here by yourself, and if you can get Galeron to jump off the edge, you get the Artifice Armor in a Master Dungeon right now. So, it's a very good thing to do. And the only difference is, what you would do is, if you're here, and you want to switch checkpoints, you need one other person to join in right now. You need to switch to another character, and then join that friend. So, you're both sitting in this state, with the encounter not done. Then what you need to do is, you know, start the encounter, go to the other reality, jump off and die so that is saved. And then with that friend who's still there on the one they're trying to get, you need to switch back to your main character that you're trying to get the drop on. Join them, complete what we're doing. And then at that point, when you're done, you go back to orbit, you switch to your character that has that checkpoint saved. You load back in on that character. And again, the switch, the trading of a checkpoint is probably the longest part of this whole process. But you load back in on, say, your alternate character that has the checkpoint. That friend can join that alternate character when they're in and you know they're on, you know, the same state right now. When they're actually showing, you know, rally flag, the door here is shut. Then you switch back to that character you want the drop on, join in, and do it over and over. So that's why this really, really does work so well. Now, the other option I would say is grapple is probably the most consistent one. You just got to get him to actually knock you off a ledge and kind of leap. So I will try as best as I can to do this. I gotta wait for my grenade to come up and then we'll go in. All right, here we go. So you got two snipers you gotta take out quick. You gotta hide in the corner and then just hope for the best. So snipers first. This is why I like this bow for this. You're gonna tuck over here by this wall. Try and find your ads. I try and pick off the ones that are coming at me outside of Galron, because they will hurt as they're sitting here trying to shoot you. And then your goal is to try and get him to Leap at you? Not like that. And again, you'll mess this up a couple times. Not a big deal. So you will want to come in here with some rally flags. As many as you got. Raid banners, whatever. 
Rally banner, raid banner, they all, they're different names, but it's all one and the same. Same thing when you switch, snipers are first. Come down here to the ledge. You're trying to get as close to this ledge as you can. Now, if he's early, that makes life even better. You're trying to get him to run at you. Leap like that. And literally at that point, I would cast your super. So see you have your damage mitigation and then you're just waiting until the game actually realizes that he's dead. And you're good. And that is artifice armor solo without having to do too much. Now we'll see what we get. I got a Lingering Dread, so you can also get the gear from here. So I got the Grenade Launcher, Feeding Frenzy, and Harmony. Not going to be the best, but what are you going to do? So again, you can get weapons, you can get armor, but that is how you do it solo. And then pretty much what you do, you go back to the map, go to the moon, rinse and repeat. So I would have to go back here, reset the checkpoint, and launch it back and run it back. That's literally it, guys. That is how you can get Artifice Armor as a solo, and then if you have a friend, basically just trade checkpoints right there at Galron and have him jump off the edge over and over and over. So, if you guys found this beneficial, please drop a like below. Leave a comment if you've got, you know, builds, things like that that you can use. Um, but the idea is to get him to leap far enough off, slip off the edge, and then whether it's grapple, whether you're floating above him, whatever it is that you end up doing, that's you how you're going to be able to do it. So I'm going to rinse and repeat yes. this fire for a while. Good luck out there, and I'll see you soon.